morning from Singapore. Good morning. Well, welcome to Singapore. And uh, it's amazing we've done one week on this Rella Discovery 2 fascinating Far East cruise. And three, what a week. And out of the week. <laughs> what packed, a week. We've packed it here and we've had some amazing adventures. Yeah. Um, this is a, a day we've got a day and a half here in Singapore, um, and we're going to do some exploring. But yesterday we were in Port Klang, which is the port that they use for Kuala Lumpur, and we uh, we had a great day yesterday in Kuala Lumpur. If a little bit frenetic, and not without incident, as always. Oh no! I, uh, think, I think it's a cursed. I think we're a bit cursed, <laughs> um, but there you go. So it was a two-week excursion we booked yesterday, and again we were glad we booked the two-week excursion because of issues that happen. Um, yeah. But we went to the Batu Caves and City Sites tour is what we did. Yeah. Um, and as always, it started with a, uh, a a coach trip, didn't it? Yeah, a very long coach trip. Was it um, quite long, wasn't it? Well, it was one? nearly two hours. Yeah. And what we've discovered on this holiday so far is that the traffic is unpredictable. Oh. So well, this was supposed to be an hour and a half. Yeah. But actually... The, I think it was an hour 50, wasn't it? Well, it was, it was, it was nearly two hours by the time yeah. we got there and uh, the roads get gridlocked and there's various reasons. Yesterday was because of the nine kings of Malaysia decided that <laughs> they wanted to block off some roads so they could have a meeting. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly we never did, but it, it just meant that these timings were all thrown out of kilter right from the start for Batu Caves. But that said, the Batu Caves themselves oh, are amazing. amazing. And when you arrive there, you can buy garlands and yeah. if you want to give a dedication as well, uh, outside the temple, but you were immediately greeted with this fantastic 45 meter golden statue, um, yeah. which is absolutely an incredible sight, isn't it? It is, yeah, absolutely amazing. And then they got these beautiful colored steps to go up. How many steps is it? 272 <laughs> steps. Too many, I would say. <laughs> 272 yeah. steps, too many. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a hell of a car, and it's quite a steep incline, it's a 45 degree incline. Banana skins all over the place because yeah. there's a lot of um, macaques around and they basically get the bananas and throw them all over the place. So you could easily slip on those steps. So they, they hose the stairs down regularly as well yeah. to get rid of all the monkey muck and Drop -ins poop and stuff. And, stuff. Yeah, and, there's a lot of animals about and it, so. all the banana skins Ooh. as well. well. What you've got is very steep steps that are very wet and covered in banana skins. I'll leave it there. Um, <laughs> And lots of people rushing up and down them as well. It's um, yeah, but very uh, busy. it's definitely worth the climb though because it beautiful went, inside. Absolutely it? stunning. It's a limestone cave mm. uh, with a variety of and Hindu how, how shrines inside. How old is it? He said um, four hundred million year old million cave. Yeah, it's um, really old. I mean, it, it, lovely. Uh, you know, um, for rock formations and stalactites and stalagmites inside, all that kind of stuff but also the most spectacular Hindu temples inside that are the working temples. And you're allowed to go around and have a look, but you must take your shoes yeah, off. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to absolutely. show respect yeah. and, and all that. And the, the nice thing about on the Tui tour was that the guy actually gave us a little bit of a heads up on some of the do's and don'ts, yeah. some of the decorum and... Uh, your ankles covered, your shoulders covered. There is a dress code, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, but he was very good because if some of the lazy had come come on board with a little strappy t-shirt, he had some shawls that they could borrow, didn't they? Yeah. And at Which the bottom, way? there were three ladies. Were, well, obviously the dress code police were, were checking various <laughs> people's attires. It, it did seem a little random what they were checking, um, but they were checking, and then there some people were pulled up and they said, "No, I'm not happy with that." No. Yeah. And you could, they direct you to a shop where you can buy oh, yeah. sarongs or shawls or whatever. Yeah. Um, but regardless of that, whatever they charge you, it's not expensive. It's free to get in the cave itself. So if you yeah. did it on your own steam, you wouldn't pay an entrance fee. No. Um, but, you know, the, the temples are absolutely stunning. And just to see them in use and yeah. see the worship going on there, just, just what a humbling experience it was. Uh, and, you know, really, really inspiring, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think um, monkeys are revered there as well, aren't they? I'm revered. not sure they're revered, but they're they? certainly an issue. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were animals were. I think they are. I think, they are. Are. I think they are. And they've got roosters there. They've got um, monkeys running all over the place. Pigeons, yeah. you name it, is there. And they're all like, um, they're fighting for bits of food and things. I think people can buy food for them. Peanuts, they do warn you about yeah. the monkeys, though, because the monkeys are prone to stealing bags and phones yes. and 
also attacking people. They're very vicious. They can be very vicious. Ooh. And sadly, a lady on our tour got attacked by she one of them. Attacked by one of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was on the stairs, and I think it had got startled, and then it just went for the nearest person. Yeah. Uh, saw one of the ladies on our tour and then went and attacked and grabbed hold of her arm and scratched her arm quite badly, actually. She ended up with um, two or three stitches. Three stitches, stitches needed. Yeah. And that was another thing. The Tui guy, the tour guy, made sure she was looked after. Yeah. Immediately we got they out. Took her to the, um, was it a pharmacy? Was they it took her to a, like a medical centre nearby, yeah. uh, which meant we had to park up and wait, wait for... Well, but that was, was being assessed and that stuff. was fine. You just want it to be all well, right. Well, there's so many diseases you can get from a, um, a monkey scratch, isn't there? Yeah, so, exactly. You know. Know, and we were all very worried about her yeah. and stuff. And we were probably sat waiting for her to get treated for about 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Um, it was an air-conditioned coach, so it wasn't yeah. too bad. Luckily, we... they really looked after her. Because you spoke to the lady, didn't I you? I spoke to her. She said that they really looked after her well. And that was really good to see. You know, yeah. it wasn't that she wasn't was abandoned or anything like yeah. that. It was that the... Tui guide cared. The Tui guide made sure she was okay yeah. and made sure she got the right medical. And attention. she was well enough to carry on on the trip as well, which was good. Yeah, and she felt yeah. reassured afterwards yeah. and stuff. So that was great. So, you know, the Batu caves are incredible, but heed the warnings about the monkeys. I think definitely, is yeah. um, <laughs> definitely the the bit of advice. So where do we go after that? Um, Kings Palace, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. Yep. So there are nine kings in Malaysia, yeah. and um, they take it in turns to be the ruler. And they've all got their posh palaces, and the current ruler's palace have a new palace built. And we were taken to uh, the the gates of that palace where we could pose for photo opportunities. And it's a bit like Buck Palace in that there are guards in yeah. uniform outside, and guards on horses, guards on horseback, mm. and stuff. It's quite a spectacle, a bit of yeah. pomp, um, but a short photo opportunity. We were there for 15 minutes. Yeah, right? and we were lucky because of the Nine Kings having their meeting. Um, so a, a road had been closed off and open just before we got there. So we we got there, we were the first coach trip there. Yeah. So it wasn't like- Oh, the only crowds, yeah. So we were lucky. <laughs> so that was good. And I was back on the coach again. Then we went to, to in the front of the Patronus Towers. Didn't That's we? right, yeah. So the Patronus Towers were oh, once- The Twin Towers. The Twin Towers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were once the tallest building in the world back yeah. in about 1998. And they put Kuala Lumpur on the map or an iconic landmark. And they still are an iconic landmark, obviously. That title of the tallest building has now been, you know, passed on. It's Bur Khalifa in Dubai. Yeah. Uh, even Malaysia's had another go at putting another tall building up. So there is a taller building in Malaysia. But that's uh, the second tallest. But that's the second <laughs> tallest building in the world. But the yeah. Tallest Towers are iconic. It's fantastic architecture. Beautiful. And we were dropped off outside. To take some photos. To take some photos. Beautiful fountains in front, wasn't there? I know mm. some tours got a, a, a pass to go um, up to the Sky Bridge and take views across the city. The Batu Caves and City Sites tour didn't include that. So if that's what you want to do, make sure you book the right excursion yeah. for that. Our excursion dropped us off in the gardens out the front for photo opportunities, which right. we certainly made the most of. Yeah. Um, and then we were back on the coach and then to the Concord Hotel, Hotel for a bit of lunch. Yeah, and that hotel apparently is famous for having Michael Jackson stay in it. What a lovely hotel, a lovely restaurant and an amazing food. spread of food. The it was food gorgeous. Was you don't want to say it, but it was better than the food on the deck. <laughs> you know, it was really, really nice food. Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> really, really, really good. Uh, yeah. You felt as though you were being pampered. Uh, yeah. Um, I tried dragon fruit for the first time as well. That was very tasty. That was good, yeah. So um, then back on the coach again, and then we had uh, a trip to the city. No, the city centre where the Independent Square was. So when Malaysia declared independence from Great Britain in, I think it was 1967 or somewhere around then. Forgive me if I've got the date wrong. No offence, men. I will look it up, put it on the screen. Um, yeah, um, we went to the spot where that, uh, you know, where that ceremony took place. And it was the, um, the centre of British rule where, you know, when the 137 years that the British rule, Malaya, as it was called, and it's a quintessentially English part of the city i mean it's colonial style buildings mock tudor uh, half timber buildings a, a cricket green with a, a you know um a, you know a, a, a cricket sort of uh scoreboards and old buildings and yeah. refreshment areas there's a church of england oh. church i mean it is quintessentially yeah. english there uh, and it's quite symbolic that you know independence was declared in that uh and that's why it's also where the government buildings were when the British ruled here. Yeah. 
as well. Well, so it was nice to see that like, little bit That's of uh, nice. history of the country here, you know, in Malaysia. Um, and then it was a yeah. walk then to the central market. A very hot walk. <laughs> yeah, very hot walk, it was. Yeah. It was a bit longer than we thought. I yeah. think the traffic was so bad so in the bad. city that the tour guide decided, look, we'll be we fit and able to take a walk. It was like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Everybody said, yeah, let's go for it. Um, and it was a so it was a hike across the city, uh, following a gentleman with a flag, basically. <laughs> uh, and then when we got to the central market, yeah. uh, we were given not long Half there. an hour we were given. <laughs> so it was really supermarket sweet. It really was. <laughs> and I, I think the incident earlier on in the day, um, probably impacted the yeah. amount of time that we had I in the market. We should have had about an hour, I think we were supposed yeah. to have, but so it ended up to have half an hour. So it was a shame that we didn't get yeah. long in the market because it was great to browse the shops and all the trinkets and the toys and the souvenirs, yeah. what you want to do. You get all your currency for Malaysia and you find, actually it came back with a load, so I've changed it to Singapore yeah. dollars this morning. Yeah, it's uh, good things are a lot cheaper. Yeah, aren't they? things are cheaper here, yeah. so. Um, but anyway, it's still nice to see uh, the market and uh, have a little bit of time for shopping. Then yeah. back on the coach again, and then a ride back to the ship, which was quicker because the Kings had decided to open the roads uh, again. <laughs> so it was quicker and it was time for a little snooze. And then we were woken up to our our um, tour guide, Chris, singing a song to wake everybody up. He was. <laughs> Well, it was a good day. Really enjoyed yeah. it. Uh, an enjoyable excursion. And it was lovely to do Basu Caves in particular are incredible. Um, really can't, that, can't praise that enough. That's, that's, that's just one of those places you've got to go to. Absolutely uh, amazing, isn't absolutely it? Absolutely mm. Then back on the ship. Yeah. Um, we were quite late back here. So we had a few beers. Uh, yeah. Had a bite to eat. It's a barbecue, don't forget. That's right. It there was a, a barbecue. Yeah. I love it when Morella do a barbecue because it's so nice. And they had on there the world's biggest well, not world, but then um, Morella's biggest apple pie. It's huge. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I forgot to take a photo of you it. Did, you did. Your yeah. belly was bigger than your eyes. Like, <laughs> that was really or whatever. No, the apple pie was absolutely delicious, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, it was great. That's the something barbecue. I like what Morella do. They do the deck barbecues. They're lots yeah. of fun. Live band playing. And, and yeah, drinks as you come in. Drinks as you come yeah, in. Yeah, really it's nice. Really welcoming. Yeah. That was nice. You went to go and see a show last night? I went to the show. What was my show called? I've got to think now. What was it called? It was the um, ballroom one, wasn't it, with Gabriella? Ballroom Blitz. Ballroom Blitz. Blitz. Yeah. yeah, which I loved. Um, that was lots of fun. Yeah. Um, you didn't do that, though. No, I had a night off the shows yeah. and the dancing and everything else like that. not really his thing. <laughs> I enjoyed a few beers, a beautiful sunset, reading my book and listening to some of my taste in music. <laughs> <laughs> my, it wasn't Slipknot, but more my taste of music. But yeah. there you go. So, um, yeah, and, but it was very relaxing, very chill. And, and then obviously get up this morning for hopefully what is a full day in Singapore. They're, we're going to stay out tonight, aren't we? We're going to try and push ourselves it and stay out later. It's very hot here, though. I don't know if you can see, but while I'm talking to you, sweat is absolutely pouring down 30, my face. 34 degrees here and uh, hot. high humidity as well. So I think we'll try and go into some shady areas if you can. <laughs> Singapore, as we know from last week, yeah. is stunning. We haven't really decided what we're doing. We know there's going to be food and drink involved. Oh, yeah, we're going to try the Hawker Centre this time because yeah. we didn't do it last time, did we? So, so. and everything else yeah. is a bit of a play it by ear. Uh, yeah. But, so, we'll let you know tomorrow. We'll let you know tomorrow. Enjoy. All right. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye. If you like what we do and you want to see more of our ventures, please like and subscribe. Cheers.